Hi everybody and welcome to Restaurant Australia. Well, I must tell you that this place is buzzing with the most amazing food from all over Australia. It has got local producers, it has got entrepreneurs, it has got chefs, it has got people who are actually artists with everything that's available here in Australia. I've tasted the most amazing butter. I've tasted kale with uh, cheese which is really a lovely combination. I've also tasted the most amazing cauliflower chips. So follow me while I find my way around this market tasting everything that there is. My most uh, memorable food experience has been at this beautiful restaurant called uh, Sea Duction in uh, Gold Coast. The good thing about that restaurant was that uh, the guy had created some wonderful flavors. The mix and match of or the yin and yang in the entire taste profile of the dishes was something which you can relate back to what you have in India at home. And you know, getting that onto a platform of uh, this stature wherein it becomes a gourmet food was something that will always remain with me. In fact, there's a whole lot of learning that happened for me as a chef. I've learned so much of cooking from just watching all you guys. You know, you're such a wonderful person when you critique. I, I would offer you some food and say, I, I know you won't kill me if it goes wrong. And that is so wonderful. Memorable experience, I would say Ghazi and super normal. Amazing food, no paraphernalia. What I like about that is simplicity and straight to the point food. Really, really satisfying your taste bud kind of a food. Two things that are linked. One is, was a dining experience I had at a restaurant called Orana. The chef is Job is on Frio, Frilo. He's a forager and what he does is it's just straight ahead, really good clean cooking, but he's ingredient based and he forages this country looking for all things edible. It's been a revelation trying crocodile and he had some green ants from somewhere in the north and, and he, he sort of looks at the way the indigenous people ate and why they ate the way they do. So he, he brings all these things to the table and he really showcases you know, all that is edible Australia in a way and it's fantastic and the passion that he brings to it is just amazing. So I've been Which? to uh, Jodhpur up in uh, Rajasthan, okay. I've been to New Delhi a few times, I've been to Mumbai four times, I've been wow. to Chennai. That's so yeah, Bangalore. What do I eat? Yeah. Oh, everything. What are you talking about? Um, things like the chat masala, and I'm a big fan of some of the desserts, like the okay. jalebi. Um, what are the little balls? I always forget those. Gulab jamun. Gulab jamun, I like that. Yes, you I like kind of I love. Yeah, I like pav bhaji, I like <laughs> vada pav, paneer masala, stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, I love it. This is the only country where you can go and eat and have a superbly elegant fine dining experience. Everything is perfection. And guess what the restaurant is called? 10 minutes by tractor. Absolutely outstanding. It was seriously one of my most amazing dining experiences around the world. First of all, it was beautiful. It was right in the middle of a vineyard. It was sunlit. There was sunshine in the glass, which is their own wines, which they make. A bread and butter plate from Spain. It was the, the food had clear, pristine flavors. Of course, the produce was fabulous. It was outstanding. Everything was perfection. Two nights ago in Sydney, Tourism Australia took us to the top of Key. Lovely set down table for 15, 16 was awaiting us. A man in a suit playing the harp and the opera house blowing gently in the background. As we sat there and Peter Gilmore brought the snow eggs in, it's a truly magical moment. I had goosebumps and it's so hard to create that kind of magic in a city. It was a wonderful, unforgettable moment. I like that. Oh my goodness, it's Matt Preston! Yay! Fan girl moment! God, it's a pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you. It's a, it's a, I must tell you that you are very, very loved in my country. MasterChef Australia has redefined food for all of us in, in such a beautiful way. We have this lovely connection within you. Isn't that beautiful the way it read the, the show is resonating? It's exactly the same way in the way. There's something very similar, I think, about the way we approach food. My, my feeling about it is that it's always there and all we've done is just, we're, we're like a big spotlight. We go, look at that. And it gets bit, and people are allowed to appreciate and allowed to engage with food in a way that might have been seeming not cool or a bit nerdy before. 
Well, the food's always been there. Now we're allowed to get excited about seeing a paper leaf or trying, you know, a new cut of meat or exploring one's own cuisine. That culinary cultural richness is so exciting. And, and I think to, whenever people embrace that, we all, we all have a richer life. Okay, and so this, well, we wanted to like, sort of showcase something that was, that was really all about Australian produce. All right. Like the truffle and honey sponge, oh. the whipped goat's curd, the uh, salty caramel. I am going for it. Yeah, and the wild fennel. We have a honey truffle sponge. Oh my god! This is a washed rind. This is a? Washed rind. Delicious. To Australia. Every time you come here, it'll always be like the first time, and always feels like. Like love. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Lovely.